right guys I just finished gather all the information and all the statistic I think I need four days for that and finally I'm finished and in this video I want to present you top most affordable cars on the market and I have seven cars under $30,000 this is kind of an overall general worldwide top and it's general uh, for everybody I mean no matter in which country you are I try to make the price somehow in the middle so it's somehow reflect the price in all the country of course it's possible that the price in your country to be a little bit higher or to be a little bit lower but somewhere the price are around there so uh, I gather seven cars under $30,000 2022 the most affordable electric cars so guys first of all I make a few talks here and I have a few information for you before we start I want to present you the cars that it's there are in my top then we will make a top a price top then we will make a range top and then we will make a power top and then the final top will be my top my personal preference top so um, will be a really interesting car if you are on the market for an electric car a cheap affordable electric car this is the video for you guys I try so much I gather so many technical data and information about the cars I also I will post uh, in the description of the video all those information that I gather also uh, from the Renault Twingo I will post it in the description if you want to see uh, those information check them out first of all uh, I want to present you the cars so uh, the cars are like this not 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 as a top just I tell you it's Volkswagen e up here um, I can also add the Seat Mi or Skoda City Go EV but Seat Mi and Skoda City Go EV from what I heard they will not sell it they will not produce it anymore and Volkswagen e up it's kind of a uh, question marks as well because in some country Volkswagen don't want to sell them anymore maybe because they are too cheap too affordable and from what I heard they have so many uh, orders and they cannot do it and for that reason they say okay we give up these uh, cheap affordable cars and we make more expensive cars maybe in this way they, they can get more money I don't know what is the reason I still add the Volkswagen e up in my list the second one it's Opel e Corsa is the brother of Peugeot 208 e 208 but I didn't add in my list Peugeot 208 electric because it's more expensive than uh, Opel e Corsa and that's why Opel e Corsa come in my list because it's somewhere under 30,000 almost uh, at 30,000 uh, dollars so it's really really interesting so Volkswagen e up Opel e Corsa uh, Fiat 500e electric Nissan Leaf Renault Zoe Dacia Spring and um, Renault Twingo now from all these cars that I present you right now I have to point out something Fiat 500e it's two doors cars the other ones are four doors cars that's something to keep in mind before we start another thing before we start I want to tell you that all those cars are entry level version so keep in mind basis basis no extra options it's just basis the beginning first of all the top it the price okay let's start with the price and first place from those cars in terms of price it's Dacia Spring Dacia Spring kill them or will have the best best price 20,419 euro it's just incredible price the second place it's Renault Twingo Renault Twingo I have it here it's 23,790 euro and this is this is uh, 3,000 and uh, 500 around there more than Dacia Spring um, in Euro and those price of course in your country maybe more maybe less but I tell you in the beginning also though in those price I'm not including the discount from government for example in Germany I think you take you get around 9,000 uh, euro discount or something like that and in other country as well you get some discount those are the, the starting prices and from this one you can get also a discount so yeah you can get even better prices than that so the third place it's Volkswagen e up 
The price of the Volkswagen e up is 25,900 euro. Uh, the fourth place is Fiat 500e. The price of Fiat 500e 26,790 euro. The fifth place it's Opel e Corsa. Opel e Corsa come at the play at the same price with Renault Zoe. So they, they kind of share the same place here. Opel e Corsa and Renault Zoe come in price at 29,900 euro. Then we have uh, the, the Nissan Leaf. Nissan Leaf is the most expensive from those cars that I have it on the list. It's 29,919 euro. It's, it's almost, almost at 30,000 euro and I try to keep it under 30,000 euro. So I want to present you the most affordable. Now, so this was the, the first top and you see that Dacia Spring win uh, the first top. The second top is the range top. Let's see which one is better uh, from the range point of view. And here come for the first place Nissan Leaf. Nissan Leaf have 378 kilometer range, VLTP estimated range. The second place it's Opel e Corsa, 357 kilometer range. Um, the third place it's Renault Zoe, 316 kilometer range. Uh, third place, it's Volkswagen E-Up. Volkswagen E-Up have 259 kilometer range. Then come Dacia Spring. Dacia Spring have an estimated range of 230 uh, kilometers. Fiat 500e, uh, 190 kilometer. And also on the same place, uh, Renault Twingo have the same 190 kilometer range like Fiat 500e. So as you see here on the range, uh, top um, Nissan Leaf wind uh, without any problem, I should say. Good. Now the third uh, top that I have it with me is the power top. And on the power, it's very important. In my opinion, those three tops are the most important in the car in terms of technical specs, the price, range, and the power. Then of course, it comes the quality. I didn't include it in my top, the quality materials and interior and stuff like that, but we will talk a little bit in the video at the, at the end. Now let's talk about the power. The power top, it's like this. Again, first place, Nissan Leaf win here. Uh, again, with uh, 150 horsepower, uh, also zero to 108.6 seconds. Uh, it's a little bit faster than all other cars. The second place, um, again, Opel e Corsa. Opel e Corsa have 136 horsepower, the same as Peugeot 208 uh, electric. His brother, they share the same platform, but it's more expensive than Opel e Corsa because they add also a little bit of more quality in the interior. Also, it has a nicer design, in my opinion. Third place, Renault Zoe, uh, 108 horsepower. The fifth place, uh, the, the fourth place um, Fiat uh, 500e, 500e uh, it comes with 95 horsepower. Then we have uh, on the fifth place Volkswagen e up with 83 horsepower. Uh, Renault Twingo, we have 82 horsepower. And the last place on power is Dacia Spring, only 44 horsepower. And here, when we talk about power, I want to point out something. I want to tell you that, in my opinion, Dacia Spring, it's kind of a city car because with 44 horsepower, with such a small battery, 27.4 kilowatt hour, with 90.1 second acceleration, zero to 100, and top speed, 125 kilometers, uh, also 230 kilometer range, probably in the winter you will have one, 150 kilometers. It's a perfect car for city and I think they also um, build it more for the city. They didn't think too much um, about going outside on the highway. Maybe, maybe you can drive 90% in the city, 10% you can go also outside on the highway, but, but most of the time this car is made for the city driving. So probably that's why uh, Dacia Spring is on the last place. Now, I make my own top right here and I want to explain you how I get to this top before we go forward. The top is made 
only from uh, technical spec, uh, from range, from power, from price. So it's kind of a all-arounder. I gather all the points so I see which one is better and where is better and then I gather the points together and then I have this rating and then I think you wait for this um, all the video so the top in my opinion and not in my opinion but also the number show it right here uh, it says that Nissan Leaf and Opel Corsa they share the same place the top space they have um, the, the enough power uh, relatively um, good price for what they offer and also they have the range um, and acceleration and um, also the quality in the interior, the exterior of the car, um, in my opinion, they are on the first place together. Now, the second place it's taken by Renault Zoe. This is the way it is. The third place, Volkswagen E-Up. Let's hope they will still um, sell this car in the future as well. The fourth, fourth place is Dacia Spring. Surprisingly, Dacia Spring come uh, in front of Fiat 500e and in front of Twingo because of the fifth place is Fiat 500e, sixth place is um, Renault Twingo. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this car, guys, and I want to tell you that, in my opinion, the top is quite fair. Of course, now, if you are tight with your budget, you want an electric car, you want uh, a car, an electric car only for the city, I think Dacia Spring might be the best option. Why is that? Because it's 10,000 euro, almost 10,000 euro cheaper than um, Nissan Leaf or Opel E Corsa. 10,000 euro, it's a lot of money. With this money, you can charge the car probably for 10 years. And in my opinion, Dacia Spring, it's perfect for the city. If you need to drive all the time in the city, or you can, if you need the second car, if you have already a diesel or petrol car, and you need a second car to go here and there in the city, Dacia Spring, it's perfect. It's also perfect for companies. If you have a company, if you go, if you want to do Uber, uh, Uber Eats or stuff like that, that will be perfect for the city. I hope you get some useful information from this video. Uh, if you still have questions, you wanna ask me something about the cars, I will be happy to answer you. So you can comment down there and ask me whatever you want. Uh, if you still have questions, if you still wanna speak about something, I will also make another top uh, when I have time uh, with more expensive kind of a mid-range electric cars and we will see there uh, which will be the top I'm really curious and I'm really interested to see that uh, also uh, that was the video guys uh, keep in mind that uh, Fiat 500e have only two doors the other cars come in four doors and they are a great option I'm really happy to see more and more electric cars coming on the market with more affordable prices and yeah that was guys Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more uh, of those kind of videos. I really wait your feedbacks. Um, also, I hope I explain you really clear and you will find in the description also all the information that I gather and the uh, tops and stuff like that. So thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.